What's up guys, it's Drax, it's time for a Halloween special episode. Cue the spooky ambiance. Alright, so I've wanted to do something with jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins for a long time on the channel. I thought that it would be a great Halloween video. I'm super jealous of the channels that can carve pumpkins with their blasters. Blasters? Um, but uh, we can't do that. Nothing's powerful enough to penetrate the gourds. So instead, we're going to do like a shooting challenge with the jack-o'-lanterns. But before we do that, we've got to get these guys uh, all jack o lanterned up. Crack, what's your Halloween costume? It's the same thing it is every year, man. I'm already a vampire. Prove it. <sighs> well, mistakes were made. I am not an extra large. This is terrible. Anyway, let us take our jack-o'-lanterns outside and transform them into wonderful Halloween targets. Let's go! All right, so we've already gutted one of the big boys, but it's time to take our little man here and cut him down to size. So, if you're unfamiliar with how to carve a pumpkin, this is not going to be your world's greatest pumpkin carving tutorial, but you want to start at the top, and I like to make a star pattern so that there's always a notch. It's important to cut at an inward angle, and by cutting at that inward angle, you ensure that your lid will actually fit. All right, so that's one lid out. And then, of course, you're gonna have to uh, trim your lid. All right, now for the hard part. We gotta de-goop our guy here, so I'm gonna come in, see if we can't open it up enough for the scoop to do some work. But the, uh, the confection pumpkins, or the smaller ones like this, always tend to be pretty, uh... Oh, all right, so we're in. This is gonna be gross. So if anybody wants some free pumpkin seeds, I got plenty of them. I'm gonna leave them out here to dry. You can come pick them up at any point, day or night. Uh, my address is. All right, so that's one gourd, perfectly well uh, gourd. Um, this guy's ready for a face, but before we do that, we're gonna cut open our other big dude. So, while the one behind me is going to wind up with a face, this one I'm going to do something pretty unique with and we're going to see if we can get one wall as thin as possible, which means we're going to need to go a lot wider with our, uh, our lid, so to speak. This one's barely going to look like a jack-o'-lantern. We're going to call it a nerf-o'-lantern. All right, and the big ones tend to be way wetter inside, so... Oh, that's not that bad at all. Alrighty, so this guy's gonna need a face. We're gonna use him for accuracy testing, and so I kinda, I don't wanna make it too hard on myself. Hard mode will be the little guy, but let's give him some eyes here. And we, uh, we like to go real classic with our, our jack-o'-lantern carving here at Castle Dracula. Nothing fancy, just cat silhouettes and triangle eyes. Alrighty, so there's that, and just to make sure that the darts can actually get in here, if we hit it, we're gonna go ahead, carve out the interior as well.
All right, Pat, what do you think? Is he angry or happy to see us? He is about to be shot in the face a lot. Nah, big old grin, happy to be in the video. I oh, man, should have given him vampire fangs. It's a little late. All right, so this time for sure, little vampire pumpkin. Here we go. What do you think? The resemblance is uncanny, right? All right, so we've got the trusty death dealer out here and it's time to see if we can accurately uh, quote unquote carve a pumpkin or hit the, uh, the outlets in a jack-o'-lantern with a Nerf Blaster. We're only like 20 feet away, but Nerf Blaster is not the most accurate thing on the face of the planet. Let's go. Alright, Elite Alpha Trooper got one dart in. And it's gonna have to stay one dart. Oh no. Okay, so if the Alpha Trooper can only get one dart in, this is the Nosferatu, a full powerhouse rapid strike overhaul all the way from the UK. And it uh, is just ultra slick and very on theme. The Nosferatu has a vampire hydra dip. I'm a vampire. This is Castle Dracula, and we're shooting jack o' lanterns. Couldn't not bust out a 22 round full auto just spray and see if perhaps just sheer rate of fire would uh, would compensate for lack of marksmanship. And unfortunately, it turns out that actually placing your shots is better. Now we did hit old Jack over there with every dart, but none of them went inside him. The closest we got was one stuck under his chin. So this is a caliber and it's actually arcane caliber number three. And we're gonna go ahead, slam that home, load up some full length darts and see if we can't with now a very marksman-esque rifle. And we are gonna get closer because old little Jack over here is mighty, mighty small. I think it would have to be an absolutely flawless shot to get anything stuck in him. So we'll uh, go ahead and fire a few off and see what happens. Oh snap! What just happened? Could you see that? Little Jack just lost his hat, boys. No, we got robbed. All right, I'm counting it. I'm saying that that kind of counted. So uh, clearly, um, denting Jack in a couple of different places here, but awfully hard to make any of those really tough shots. We'll take two more at it, but ultimately, precision shooting, even with the caliber, is proving somewhat difficult. Nope. Okay, so this is the moment of truth, the thing that we're really curious about. If carved properly, can ants eat our pumpkin? Uh, if carved properly, can you penetrate a pumpkin's thick flesh or rind with a Nerf blaster? Now, we're not even gonna bother with the Alpha Trooper or the Rapid Strike because I know that anything shooting under 200 FPS just isn't gonna cut it, but we'll start with the Caliber, and if that doesn't work, we have one more thing we can take it to. All right, so no amount of full-length darts seem to be able to do the job. Luckily, we have a few uh, half-lengths from worker, we're just gonna try one of the worker half links here, uh, cause you can only load one into a Caliburn magazine that is not adapted at a time. And we're gonna start to get in close because uh, so far our damage has been not at all, nothing to speak of. So right there on the sweet spot and, hey, all right, so it did not fully uh, penetrate, but we knocked a tiny divot out with our half length uh, dart so 
It's time to bring out the big guns. This is Bloodborne, easily the finest homemade Nerf blaster in the world. It fires a very custom homemade round known only as Southeast Slugs, and it's time to see if we can carve pumpkins with it. Okay, so let's take a look at our damage. We got a few hits in with Bloodborne. Clearly just getting the dart past the pumpkin is difficult. I don't know if any of these went in. Uh, we did blow the tip off one of our darts, but uh, not terrible. Not amazing, but not terrible. Let's see. Anything on the inside? Nope. Sad, just, uh, just that actually, exactly where it went in. How funny is that? But um, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I think that while we can conclusively say that you could carve pumpkins with uh, Nerf blasters, the amount of work involved is exponentially more difficult than just carving a jack-o'-lantern the old-fashioned way. So, uh, as always, guys, much love, Nerf on, and seriously, a super happy Halloween to all of you. It is my favorite holiday. I'm going to be off trick-or-treating in Orlando, so uh, leave me a like on this video, and I'll catch you up when I get back. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Much love, Nerf on, Drek out.